Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here, ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So let's talk about using WordPress as a content management system. So you have a client and uh, you've built a, you're going to build a simple website like this and uh, your client wants to be able to go into, like I said, so let's say the company page and and be able to um, to edit the co copy. You know, so you, you, you know, you're, you're now have the task of uh, building a, a CMS system for your client. Now, you can do this with WordPress, and this is uh, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and ex I'm going to explain to you how you can do this with WordPress. The first thing you want to do is build your site locally like this. So as you see here, it's HTML, index.html, um, company.html. So you have your site locally first the way you want it set up, and it's easy just to do it locally just so that you can um, you can see how everything lays out. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and install WordPress on the server. Okay, once you have that installed, now you're set. You have WordPress. It's simple. It's the, their basic default um, layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to. I'm just going to give you two examples. I'm going to. Um, uh, we're just going to do the home page and the company page as an example. Okay, so once you have WordPress installed. On your server and it looks like this and then you have your web website locally like this the first thing you want to do is go ahead and um, for the index and the company page that I just showed you you want to read you want to rename the index page as let's, let's say for this example homepage.php and then the company.html page that I mentioned you want to rename that as company.php page or company.php and then what you want to do for each of those two pages those two PHP pages you want to add this little script at the top where it says question mark PHP forward slash asterisk template name company and then you close it off asterisk forward slash question mark you know bracket so you take this little script and then you're going to also do the same thing for your home page okay because what we're doing here we're, we're going to create for each of the pages that we want to be able to edit you have to create a WordPress template for each one of those okay so company services if you want each of these pages to be editable and update it using WordPress, you want to need to create a WordPress template for each one. So that's what we did here for the homepage.php and the company.php. We're using this as an, as an example. Okay. So go ahead and save those two. And then on your you know you go go ahead and FTP those two files onto your themes folder, the default folder that you're using, this theme specific, specific. So you want to go ahead and do that. And then once you do that, let's do that here. Let's do okay. And then you want to go over to your WordPress. Let's log in. And then what you want to do over here under go into pages and you're going to create two new pages. Let's do home page. And just you know name it home page and then right here under template you're going to choose home page as your template. Again, what what shows up here in this drop down where it says template is what you see here is what you um, name you given here. Okay, so go ahead and disallow comments. Just do publish. Okay, so your first one's done, and then you're going to do add a new one. Let's do company. And you leave this blank for now, but we'll come back to this a little later. And you go to hit under template here, just use company. And then disallow comments as well. And go under settings, 
So once you have your two pages, let's go. I'm sorry, go back to your two pages. You, they're there. Go under settings, under reading, and you're going to choose this um, option, a static page, and then you're going to use your front page. You want it to be your home page. Okay. Let's do save. So now your front page should show your home page that we just created. And we'll look at that in a second. Go ahead and, uh, under permalinks. Let's go under permalinks. And then you want to choose right now. It should be yours should probably be default. But just go ahead and select this option so that you can see the, the URL displayed differently with the name spelled out. So just go in and choose day and name. Save that. Now let's go ahead and view our home page. So here's our our home page for our blog it now looks like our HTML template so here's the um, here's the the blog home page and now the company home page looks like this now one part I didn't one part that we want to to go over is the portions of the site that you want to be able to edit, you're going to have to um, add some code to to that portion. So, an example would be: here's my HTML, here's my here's my website, how it looks locally. Okay, so this portion's here. This copy, this part, this HTML. What I want to do is replace this portion of of my page with um, some HTML, some PHP code. Now, in WordPress. WordPress has uh, this file here. It's called page.php. Go ahead and, and 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 save this locally. Because because you want to bring this page up here, page.php, and you want to take this script here, where it says you want to start where it says um, question mark PHP if parentheses have underscore post. You want to take all of this until it stops here where it says PHP edit underscore post underscore link. Edit this entry. Basically, you want to take all of this script and then you want to replace the entire section of your HTML page that you want to be able to update. So basically, all of this content here that needs to be updated, you want to replace that. So you want to go ahead and copy and then replace it with this PHP stuff. Okay, you want to do this now on your PHP page, and that's what I did there. So go ahead and upload that back to your server, and then you're going to look at you're going to get something like this. Where now I can go in here and I can add some content. I can add that copy there. Let's just go back and I have that HTML portion saved. I go into WordPress under HTML. I paste it all in there. I can view it visually and I can see how it looks. So like, let's do a update post just so you can see what it looks like. And I'm running out of time so I'm just going to speed it up. But here is the page now. And this content here is updated through WordPress. So now let's go ahead and change the company name here. So I just do edit this entry. And I can do, hey mom, WordPress as a CMS. So I just do update. View page. Look at that. Hey mom, WordPress has a CMS. So that's it. Now again, when you upload your your files to your server, make sure that the image paths are correct so that you can see you know um, everything is not broken because what you're doing is you're uploading these PHP templates to your your themes folder, and you want your paths to be relative so that um, that you can see you know that nothing's broken, and then. Um, you'll be able to to edit this in WordPress. So 
hopefully I, um, I went over this a little quickly. If you have any questions, um, feel free to give me an email, and uh, hopefully this is uh, you understand a little bit um, of what I explain and uh, what I'm doing. I'm assuming that you know a little bit about HTML and that you can understand WordPress just a little bit in order to, to accomplish this. All right, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email, mlock at mlwebco.com, and we'll talk soon. All right.